Hey everyone, it's Natasha and I'm so excited to show you a brand new curriculum called Summer's Lab. So this is by Paige Hudson, who is the creator of Elemental Science and Sassafras Science. So you may have heard of her and her curriculum before, but this curriculum is supposed to come before the Sassafras Science program. It is like a beginning program for like preschool to kindergarten. And so it is a first hands-on look at science. And so I have two parts here. I have the teacher guide and the lab manual, but we are going to go through the teacher guide first. So let's jump right into this. So first we have a letter from the author and then we have the table of contents. So unit you know, one is animals, unit you know, two humans, Unit three, plants. Unit four, weather. Unit five, rocks. Unit six, space. Unit seven, matter. Unit eight, energy. So let's jump right into how this program works. So basically, this uh, lady here is named Summer, and she has this little ground squirrel pet named Ulysses, or Ulysses, um, and she is from the Sassafras Science series. So if you've done Sassafras Science, then um, she is in that series. She helps the kids and the uncle and all that. But so basically it's coming at it like she, Summer, this lady here, wrote this program for the little ones. Okay, and so it's based on a figurative sandwich, the science sandwich. So first we have the meat. And this section contains a couple of paragraphs of introduction. And then we have the bread. And this section has several questions you can use with your students to make sure they have picked up the key points along with an optional coloring page and mini book to add a bit of artisan flavor to the bread of your science sandwich. You will start your week with this section and then add to the science sandwich you are building with the following sections. So we have cheesy additions, which are your coordinating hands-on projects. Now there's a difference between a hands-on project and an experiment. And these are specifically hands-on projects. They are guided by you and observed by the students. And there is a link to, you know, look at uh, scientific demonstrations versus experiments if you wanna check that out. And then you have the mayo and more. And for this, each, each week there are art projects, snack options, and extra science projects that you can do. And then it says, listen while you eat. They use the DK Children's Encyclopedia, as well as they give you a bunch of options for extra reading books that if you wanna get from your library or, or whatnot. Okay, and then it says lunch schedules. Basically, how do you schedule this program? It has it scheduled out for you if you wanna do it um, uh, four days a week. You can, it only take about 10 to 15 minutes, but if you want to do a couple longer sessions, you can do 20 to 30 minutes, or you can just go by, a, by the list, and I'll show you that in a second, and you can just cross things off as you go. It's really totally up to you, but in other words, this doesn't take a long time. Then we have the student resources, which are the lab manual, which I do have here that I will be flipping through, and then the reference notes. And so basically, the lab manual, it has all the coloring pages and demonstration sheets and activity sheets. Um, but then the reference notes has, a, it's the sh the, these sheets contain the stories and a set of mini books for the students to record what they have learned for that week. These are designed to be cut out and glued into the students' journals or composition books with lots of their doodles, notes, and thoughts around them. Uh, alternatively, you can use these mini books to create a lap book. So you can choose one or the other. You don't really need um, both. And both of these student resources are sold separately and you can use both, one, or neither. So in other words, you can just get this teacher guide, go off of this. This has everything you need. It just won't have any coloring pages or anything like that for your student, but that's okay if you don't mind. Um, so you can use this program with just the teacher guide if you'd like to. First, we have the master materials list here. And so it tells you each week what you need um, for the hands-on projects and the coordinating activities. So it goes through that. So you can, if you want to plan by unit, like you want to get all the supplies you need for the animals unit, yeah. or if you just want to go all out and plan for every single week of the year and get all the supplies in a big tub, you could totally do that too. Okay, then we have then we have the library book list. So we have the DK Children's Encyclopedia. That's something you probably wanna buy. It's optional, but you probably still want to buy it. 
And then it goes through each unit again and it gives a ton of book options, tons, okay? So I actually started marking ones that I had because I do have a couple of them already. But yeah, there's tons of book options. Then we jump right into unit one, animals. Okay, so we have unit one at a glance and we have the unit purpose here. Uh, the, this unit is your student's first look at the world of zoology. In this unit, the students will learn the basics of four of the major types of animals. And then, and then it gives us the animal topics for the whole unit and then the supplies needed for the whole unit. Okay, so that's just the unit at a glance if you want to get an idea of what's going on for that unit. Then we have the week one grid schedule. So if you want to do this four days a week, you can follow this schedule. If you don't want to do it four days a week, I'll show you on the next page what you can do. But you could also do two days a week and combine days one and two and three and four. You could also simply only do the lunch items or you can do the lunch and the feast fillers. It tells you what the hands-on project is, it tells you the coordinating activities, and it tells you the main idea. If you don't like that type of schedule, you can go over to the list schedule. And so again, it tells you the focus of the week, the supplies needed, and then it just gives you a weekly checklist. So if you wanna just check things off as you go and not have to even put it in specific days, you can do that too. That kind of reminds me of a loop schedule with a morning basket. If that's less stressful for you, do it that way. Okay, and then we get into the lessons. So we have the meat. This is the information you will read to your child. Okay, and then you will have the bread, which is the discussion questions. And so there's just a three little discussion questions. And then we have written assignments, which you can have the students color the coloring page. You can have the students add what they have learned to the amphibian's mini book um, in the reference notes. So, you know, LM for lab manual, RN for reference notes. So, you know, like, which one are you doing or are you doing both or neither? And then we have the cheesy additions. So, we're going to do a scientific demonstration of the frog life cycle. And you're going to use frog life cycle cards from the appendix in the back. And then it gives you steps to complete them. And then it gives you the mayo and more. These are the coordinating activities. So we have the art, which is frog prints. Cut several frog-shaped feet out of a sponge. And that's pretty fun. You're gonna have a snack, apple frogs. Make a cute apple frog snack with the students. You will need apple slices, marshmallows, and chocolate chips. And it gives you a website to go to to get the directions. And then we have the activity, a fine motor frog feeding. Glue two green pom-poms close together to the top of a Parmesan cheese container on the side that has the smaller holes. Glue two wiggly eyes on the pom-poms. Once dry, give the frog a container to your students. Have them feed the frog small black pom-pom flies using a pair of tweezers. I love this so much. <laughs> this is so right up my alley. And this is so right up my daughter's alley. Literally, when I saw these different fine motor activities and the snacks and everything, I just went crazy because this is so fun. I feel like this can be literally the base of your homeschool curriculum for your preschool or your kindergartner. Like sure, you gotta teach them some math and reading, but really this is like the base because it's got art, it's got fine motor skills, it's got snacks, it's got literature, it's got science. I mean, it's got everything right here. I love this so much. And then it has reading uh, assignment, and book suggestions. So again, when if you're following the little uh, schedule here, you could see that on day one, you'll make the amphibian science sandwich, which is read the meat, discuss the bread, and color the page. And then you can do a feast filler, choose one or more of the library books to read. Day two, you'll do the um, hands-on project, the frog life cycle, and you're going to make the apple frog. Uh, day three, you're going to read the DK Children's Encyclopedia and do the frog feeding the fine motor skills activity. Day four, add some mayo to your sandwich with the frog prints and choose one or more library books to read. But you can mush this around however you like or you can do the checklist. So anyway, I just love that. So now you know the layout of it, but let's just take a look at a couple more of these activities so you can see what they are. So we have painting with feathers eat like a bird, catching worms, which is 
cut up several pipe cleaners into worm sized pieces and give each of the students a clothes pin and tell them that this is their beak. Have them collect as many worms as they can with their beaks. Again, fine motor skills. I mean, this is just perfect. Okay, so let's take a look. We'll go, uh, let's see, right here. Uh, art fingerprint snake. We have snack chocolate snakes activity reptile collage. We have uh, shape insects, ants on a log. You know, okay, everybody, you know, all the millennials out there, surely you've had ants on a log. I think that was basically a necessity for our mothers. Like, it was like one of those things you had to do to be a mother uh, if you're a mother of millennials. Anyway, okay. Activity Ant Farm. So you can purchase a pre made one or um, you can make your own. Gives you directions. Okay, then let's see some more. Let's let's jump to the middle here. So we've got tissue paper sun, solar s'mores, shadow tag. Doesn't this sound like so much fun? Literally so much fun. Okay, we have fluffy clouds, egg white clouds, cloud matching. We have weather painting, jello storms, a weather mobile. Let's jump a little bit farther. We have torn paper mountains, cheese ranges, and a clay mountain. We have volcanic art, hummus volcano, volcano slime. Oh man. Let's see, what do we got here? We have spacesuit design, astro food, toilet paper astronaut. Oh, my daughter loves astronauts. That's going to go over very well. Galaxy art, fruity solar system, solar system bracelet. We have, let's see, we'll go a couple more in. We have plate shakers, crispy sounds, sound hunt. We have magnetic art, magnet cookies, magnetic hunt. Okay, so you get the idea, so many fun things. And so then here's the appendix. We've got the frog life cycle pictures. We've got body organization cards, um, deciduous versus evergreen. We've got cloud matching templates, weather stickers, phase of the moon, solar system labels, labeled solar system constellation templates. All right. Okay, so the lab manual, let's just give you a quick look inside. At the beginning, it has an introduction, and then on each week, it has the same information that's in the teacher guide, but then it has the coloring page with the key point here, and then it has spots for all of your activities for the week. So for example, the frog life cycle, they'll be pasting in here. The frog prints that they'll be making, they can do it on this page. Then the next uh, week we have birds, we have the coloring page, we have all the spots for all of the different activities that are listed in the teacher's manual, they are here. So you can see every week it has everything you need. Now if you chose not to use this, uh, the stories are in the teacher's guide, so that's fine. Um, and then you could just, you know, you'd have to make up your own charts and things and then you wouldn't have the coloring pages. So it's possible, it's definitely possible to do this without this book, but I must say it's kind of fun having it all together in a little book for the child with everything already done for you. So that makes it super easy. Um, and notice how everything's nice and big, nice and big. So it's you know perfectly appropriate for the little guys. So that is what we have here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I am so very excited about this program, and I hope you are too. I just wanna say that uh, the people over at Elemental Science are some of the best people that I've ever worked with, and if you ever have any questions or concerns about anything, definitely just email them, email and ask, because they are so helpful. They are one of the best companies to uh, work with, and so, Anyway, uh, I do want to say thank you to Elemental Science for sending this to me because uh, they did send it to me for free in exchange for my review. So I wanted to give you this flip through first, but of course I will give you my review after we've used it. But I'm pretty sure my review will be that I love it because this is really is exactly up my alley. Everything I would want 
for a science program and not even just a science program, just for a, you know, generic curriculum for a preschool or kindergartner, you know, as, as my base, I just love this. So anyway, please let me know if you have any questions and I will talk with you soon.